say I wasn't on a on a good day and uh, halfway through the stage I had to switch my mindset from trying to go for the win uh, and that was also the reason we had uh, Matteo and Wilco in the first place um, to have satellite riders if I wanted to go but then yeah I had to switch my mindset and instead of attacking then try to follow instead and uh, then we gave the chance to, to Matteo that he could try to go for uh, for the stage and he did an incredible job. Unfortunately, he was uh, caught caught in the end, but that's how it is. Do you feel your battery is running a little bit low, that maybe you're suffering from this sort of accelerated preparation that you had to undertake? Yeah, I think maybe something is, is catching up now. Uh, I think it's normal with only one and a half month of, of preparation then I also said it from the start. It would be would, would be crazy if I could fight for the win uh, with one and a half months. But uh, I did it for for two and a half weeks, and now yeah, now the fight is for the win is over. But for the second and third place, it's not over. Jonas, how brutal is this year's Tour de France, and how super is Tadej Pogacar in this year's edition? Yeah, I mean, I think he's on a super high level. I mean, I was also on a super high level. Uh, the first two weeks and then now a bit less but uh, yeah I think uh, in general the whole second and third week is super super hard and uh, yeah now it's another two days and I just have to try to do my best to to stay in the, in the second place and it's just not another two days tomorrow's 4,000 meters of climbing how do you go to bed tonight how do you uh, think about tonight with tomorrow ahead yeah, I think I will sleep pretty well because I'm a bit tired, <laughs> so uh, it won't be a problem. Um, no, I think yeah, tomorrow uh, will probably be the same for me that I will try to follow Remco a again and focus more on, on that. I have to, I mean, I, I know I said before that I wanted to risk the second place for, for the victory, but when you have the mo legs that I have at the moment, then yeah, you have to settle for for second, uh, try to settle for second. Final question, Anna. The honest thing I got, given that you've only had one and a half months of preparation after that crash, you, you came into this knowing that you're in second place at this point, already with a stage victory in the bag, would you have been satisfied? And is it hard now being so close to the yellow jersey yet so far? I mean, uh, even if you would have told me that I would yeah, just be on the podium at the moment, I would be very, very happy. Uh, as I said, yeah, the whole preparation has been, yeah, really far from ideal. So uh, that I'm in this position with one stage win by now, yeah, I, 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 it's something that I could only dream about before the tour. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Jonas.